Louisiana state officials says crime in New Orleans is out of control. So much so that he is now asking that the National Guard be brought in to patrol the city's streets. This was all sparked by the recent death of a toddler. <laughs> Investigators on the West Bank are looking for the gunman behind an overnight murder in Harvey. Seven murders in four days just before the Christmas holidays, but police make an arrest in at least one high profile case. And if that's my child. You killed an innocent child. And in the beginning of this tragedy, firsthand, I'm offering a prayer for this neighborhood who he saw love, wouldn't get away. Everybody his friend. Well, where's his friend now? Say, shooter, you a bad nigga, huh? Shit, you ain't even much scared of going to prison, huh? You stay bringing niggas to their funeral service, huh? Life was cool, but them niggas didn't deserve it, huh? Them boys thought I kept leaving out your version, huh? But you ain't getting nervous, huh? Killing is your purpose, huh? You usually don't think too much more than five minutes ahead, huh? You only got two plans for your life, be mad and then be dead, huh? The last time, you didn't even hear what that nigga said, huh? All that mattered to you was that that nigga bled, huh? You never wonder about life outside of prison if you'd have just ignored him instead, huh? You see, you must not like living. Getting busy dying is what you do in prison. You swear you don't like for a nigga to tell you nothing, but how much freedom of speech you think you're gonna get in the penal system? Now you done put 50 years on one night because some nigga was stunting, and I know your mind doesn't allow you to conceptualize that decision, so now your body and brain gonna rot, and the world loses two more black men of racial division, because you see, you must not like living. Why are young black males killing young black males? Do you believe in snitching? What is the solution? I believe black males are killing black males due to the fact of self-worth. Young black men are killing each other simply because of their history and lack of respect. It all started with pictures, and now it's all over the internet with girls, money, and gangs with beef. Mm -hmm. Do you think that makes sense? Not really, because you don't own the ward or the city, mm -hmm. or you're just from there. So, why do you think young black men are killing each other? My personal thoughts on that is simple as this. They're not aware of who they are. And digging deep within themselves to find a dream and find their self-worth, who they really are and what they're capable of. It hurts me to even say they because I am a part of them. You know, and I don't want to single myself out and say they because I am the person that just left here last week. The person funeral I just sung at 15 years old, young black man. So if they can tap into their self-worth and realize when they kill another brother that they're killing themselves as well, mm -hmm. I believe the answer would be a lot. I really, I really, really, really strongly believe that with my whole heart. Mm -hmm. I believe that. I believe that. Watch me if you want to see my dreams become reality, yeah. I've took the time to paint my own destiny to those who are deaf to my soul. And after all, I'm accomplishing my goals. There's so many answers to that question, and um, I mean, we can go back historically, we can, we can come to the present, but to try to make it simple, which is, is very hard to do because it's very complicated, but uh, there's factors, unemployment, there's uh, miseducation, lack of education, um, lack of identity, false identity. Uh, hopelessness and you know let me let me ask you a question what do you do when no 
one has showed you a true definition of love. I find it wherever I can. So then if I have to find it with the dudes on the block, then I'll find it. But as long as you show me love, I'm just looking for attention, whether it's good or bad. Exactly. And when you live in a country where um, we are we are their children, but they would rather watch us die rather than give us a hand, right? Or you live in a state where they construct laws um, basically target towards your, targeted towards your target group to keep you um, in prison because prison is big money. Or when you live in a city who works for the state and the people who you were raised and, and taught to believe would be your superman and your helping hand and mama says whenever you're in trouble you dial 911 when that's turned around the first time you dial 911 and instead of getting love you got hate you know how do you feel about that how does that make you feel when you are raised in a, a family where you have a lot of children raising children so of course they don't even know the real meaning of love let alone trying to show you what love is or if they've even ready to, to give you any love you know or leaving you abandoned or or when you're in a, a a school that would rather just hurry up and get you out of there and leave you hanging so then when it's time to to go to college you ain't getting no love and nobody not about to slow their road to show you any love so i mean what do you do or, or when they let you out of prison and they tell you, okay, be a good boy this time. Be a good boy, go get a job. And it's time for you to go get a job. And they're not giving you any love. So the only people that's giving you love are like you said, the people that, you know, the love is misrepresented. Or if you, you know, the, the music of today that is our people represent, you know, black people, the black music is not giving you love anymore. All they're giving you is sex, you know? So, I mean, nobody is, is showing you love and you have to see love to be love and to, to and otherwise, all you, have, all you have room for is hate. Have you ever um, experienced this, like uh, people getting killed? Yes, I have. I was at the barber, me and my cousin. We were sitting down outside. This one dude was sitting down also, and another man, he came up and fatally shot him, and we ran inside, and we seen blood dripping all over till the ambulance came. Oh, sure. Sure, what I'm doing. Yes, I do too. I believe in being honest. Yeah, I do because it can help solve all, all this crime in New Orleans, or just anywhere, and why it's happening. Yeah. I've been snitching on myself. <laughs> you snitch on yourself? Yeah. What does that mean? I snitch on myself. I mean, you know, when I'm going to God, I snitch on myself. Hey. So, I, yeah, I, you know, I snitch my, yeah, I believe it. And that's true. As, as a believer, it's another way of thinking. Right. I'm not supposed to snitch. I'm right. not supposed to tell them. Right. Yeah, right. I tell on myself when I go before God. Right. God, forgive me for this, I did this. So, know that. Yes. Why is this so? We didn't think of snitching as they do now. Uh, we all knew, even when I was a young fella, <clears throat> the word ratting was commonly used just as it is now. And I believe it's synonymous with the term of snitching. And uh, <clears throat> as a result, people tend to stay away. But uh, we need to report things to help solve problems. And I see it as like, you know, because from looking at it from one's aspect, as a believer, we we know to confront our sins. So let it be known to God. Let it be known because if you hide it, it's going to amplify. But I believe, though, as far as the street culture and the culture within the society, the snitching thing 
is also one of those, I'm trying to gain trust. I'm looking for ways to trust people, so yeah. I'm going to put that on you. If I do this, you don't snitch on me. That way I can trust you. So it's just a yeah. lack of understanding of the word trust. That's not trust, because now I'm building a character that shouldn't even be existing. Mm. But I'm trusting you with that. You know what I'm saying? Just so the whole the whole body of man in the black community is being broke down. And it's not something that's recent years. This goes way back to slavery when they separated us from the house or they took the man out of place. So this really broke down the whole structure of the of the black community, the black household. And these are, this is a thing, this is something that is bigger than just, you know, young black men killing young black men. First, we got to get grown black men in oh. place. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's, mm -hmm. though, it's, it's a deeper issue, and it's sad all the way across the board. But, you know, we're going to stay in prayer about that because we definitely need that change, and we need it now. How can you say? That you love him, yeah, yes. How can you say that you care? Oh, when you don't love all his children, yes, sir. When you know that his love is everywhere, Father. I believe the solution is uh, males in general uh, coming to understand who they are, uh, self-worth, and understanding their part in society. Identity. Identity. Love. I don't think we can't fix it because we try harder and harder and it never stops. Mm -hmm. But like if you had the opportunity to just say one thing that you think might help solve all the crime, something that will stop all these guys from killing each other, what do you think that would be? I would ask why, why are they doing it? Why they're taking someone else's life? Because I'm pretty sure they don't want their life to be taken away just like they took someone else's life. The solution, I believe, first of all, with parents, spiritual training, so kids could understand and, and relate to life in a more meaningful way. Um, the solution is, first of all, real prayer. First of all, first of all, you have to, you can't go around that prayer. And in prayer, I believe prayer will help you get the foundation of who you are. Mm -hmm. And you will find out that you don't have to fit in to be mm -hmm. down, you know, yeah, and yeah, you don't yeah. have to tool the gun to mm -hmm. be relevant. Yes. You don't have to, um, you know, when you pray, God will give you your own confidence in Him. Mm -hmm. Not saying you will be absent from struggles and mm -hmm. issues and things mm -hmm. of that matter, but I believe for myself personally, because I grew up in the St. Bernard Housing Project, mm -hmm. and um, I, I've seen crime and killing constantly, constantly. And I always ask myself, how I didn't go that route? Mm -hmm. What made it different for me? I'm no better, I'm no different, but one thing I can count on and one thing I rest assured, prayer is what kept me. Coming from me, I found the solution. And the only solution is Jesus, if you ask me. Amen to that. Amen, Amen to that. I'm definitely in agreement with that. Jesus is the answer. Because we have no, we have no foundation, so we're lost. And until we find out whose we are, we don't even know who we are. Yeah. So we're running around trying to be people that we don't even, we don't even know who we're trying to be. TV characters. Rappers that, Rappers don't, even live that don't even live the life they're talking about, you know what I'm saying? So we're blowing out of proportion a falsehood yeah. and making that real life. Well, in contrast to what I said as a result of lack of knowledge and education, I think they should become more educated to uh, the 
reality of life and how we're supposed to live. The solution would probably be, you know, um, education, you know, the state providing. You're telling these kids to say no, but they don't have anything to say yes to. And walking through life the whole time, because I was the same way, walking through life, not knowing who I am, looking for myself and people I see on TV, that's not even, and that's not them. That right, right, right. And, you know, we, we were made to submit to God. So when you're walking around and not submitting to the Creator that created you to submit to Him, right. you're walking around with the void, and you're trying to fill that void with all these things that you're being taught that's not of God. Right. So you're looking for fulfillment. You're looking for that, that completeness, and it's only in Jesus. You're looking for that manhood and don't even know what a man is. Father God, I want to be approved only by you. And if they can't see that I'm your child, let them know oh, things have gotten hard for me. Especially lately, I want them to see that I'm your child. Please let them, let them know.